former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Idris Kutigi, died in a London hospital on Sunday after a brief illness. His eldest son, Sani Kutugi, uh, confirmed the death in a telephone with a telephone conversation with journalists. Now, late Kutigi was born on December 31st, 1939, and left behind 18 children and over 40 grandchildren. He was the Chief Justice of Nigeria from January 30, 2007 until December 30, 2009. Justice Kutigi served as the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Niger State until uh, 1976, rather, when he was appointed High Court Judge. He served in that position for more than a decade and later joined the Supreme Court in 1992. After 10 years at the Supreme Court, based on the recommendation of the National Judicial Council, a former President Ulushego Basanjo appointed him to the position of Chief Justice to succeed Justice Salihu Alpha Belgori, who retired on January 17, 2007. Now, President Muhammad Buhari has extended condolences to the Kutigi's family on the passing of the former Chief Justice of Nigeria, uh, Justice Idris Kutigi. President Buhari also commiserated with members of the judiciary and legal profession, the government and people of Niger State, and the death of the eminent jurist. According to the statement by the president, uh, media aide uh, Femi Adeshina, he challenged all who mourn the late jurist to honor his memory by working for a better and just society. Also, President of the Senate, Dr. Bukola Saraki, has expressed sadness over the death of a former Chief Justice of Nigeria, CGN, Justice Idris Kutigi, and described him as an honorable jurist who spent his life in the service of his country and humanity. Senator Saraki, in a statement by his special advisor, media and publicity, Yusuf Olani Yonu, stated that the death of the jurist was a colossal loss, particularly coming at a time when his experience, dedication and knowledge were required in the service of the country. A former Vice President Atiku Abakar equally expressed sadness over the loss of the former CGN. According to him, he was a great justice who avoided controversy throughout his judicial career and that his commitment to law and justice and democracy will be remembered for years to come.